Okay, good evening. This is 4F1KJA. And this is my uh, classical uh, Kenwood radio base, model TR7950. Okay. So, uh, most of the ham amateur operator or uh, user wanted to have this type of unit. A classical, heavy duty type, but uh, the main problem of this uh, unit, uh, when I kept it uh, 1995, okay, actually this was registered to my uh, amateur radio station license. Okay. I bought this last uh, 1989 and then I kept it on 1995. Then when I uh, see this uh, last year, uh, I... Uh, the LCD was already busted okay uh, so it is very irritating to my eyes that I don't have a frequency readout on my radio so uh, last January I'm trying to configure out uh, how am I convert the LCD to LED since uh, we don't have any more stock of the LCD from the Kenwood uh, products okay, or any either uh, Kenwood dealer likewise with the when I search on the internet there are no available LCD for this type of model so what I did is uh, try to reconfigure through my uh, research and development and uh, got my spare time uh, right now month of uh, June okay uh, I would like to show you how I convert this into an LED so I know there are a uh, lot of uh, amateur user have this unit but their problem is the LCD display so now uh, I finally done it perfectly and uh, I would like to show to you first the function and uh, before that uh, I will tell you how I reconfigure this into a 7 segment uh, LED display from the previous LCD display so uh, well as you can see now on the key band okay if you press uh, example uh, uh, 4800 then the decimal will come out to complete the frequency range okay as you can see uh, the function of the light is, is in simplex mode okay when there is a light above that is now on duplex mode positive duplex and another uh, function from the negative dupe so go to the simplex mode and then if you can see another dot from there after the zero that means the radio is scanning okay so let me press the scan mode okay so it works perfectly so let's clear and then let's go again to the frequency of the amateur band this is, uh, you can uh, function this to from 2000, okay, as you can see for the dot sign, and from the 8895, okay, so as you can see, it works perfectly, okay, we will try to have uh, a setup from here, okay, so if we, c if uh, it's really functioning, so from 2, 142 decimal 000 and I have a portable here okay so uh, where's the light okay it's 142 000 okay I'm going to transmit the portable 1212 so it works perfectly since I don't have the mic right now and I'm going to reconfigure it uh, for the transmit uh, later on I will uh, show it to you Okay. 
and then from the higher frequency of this uh, radio is 148 decimal uh, 995 148995 okay going to change the frequency 148995 okay test on the receive mode 1212 one, two. So, here is it. So, as you can see, it also functions on the memory. Okay? But uh, we don't have indication if you're on memory 1, memory 2, so because of the LED. Okay? So, still, it's still working. See? Okay? Okay. So, that is a uh, stored uh, frequency. And then, Example, if you you want to scan on that memory channel, it will also work for, for a memory channel to scan. Okay. okay, so that's it. And all function doing well. Okay. Priority. Alert. Okay. And then you can uh, memory this uh, radio from that uh, frequency. Okay, so go back to the keying. Okay, it's 480. So uh, now I hope uh, some of the Kenwood TR7950 user, uh, if they have any problem with their LCD we can convert that into a 7 segment display well but be sure that uh, your unit has uh, an intact with the uh, 5 digit static LCD driver that's the most important thing there and uh, from that uh, that is uh, if you can see on my computer that is the uh, value of the 5 digit static uh, LCD display and then my documentation for that is okay to convert that uh, LCD into uh, into a uh, 7 segment display uh, I use this uh, IC okay but uh, Configuring uh, this CD4543 V type, and uh, as I scroll this from my computer, when I uh, take some research and development, this is the main uh, the main system of the display. Okay, and this is the format. Okay. So, uh, block diagram of the 7 segment 7950. Okay, and then I use the shift register 4174 as for the data and for the clock. Okay, so you must study the logic gate system, clock system, so that uh, you can configure out at the same. Okay, so all functions working. So, if you have any uh, comment or suggestion or inquiry, well, we are here right now in the Philippines. Iba talaga Pinoy eh. So, uh, we can convert your 79TR, a uh, Kenwood TR7950 into an LED display segment. Okay? So... I hope some of the legitimate amateur has uh, discovered this so that they can restore uh, revive their uh, Kenwood TR7950 now again if that happens okay uh, during uh, the days uh, before when uh, you have a 7950 with busted LCD well you know the price uh, deteriorated okay but right now I think the value of the 7950 will get higher because we have now available to convert the LCD display 
into a 7 segment LED. Okay? Search on Mr. Google if you can find somebody or someone can uh, convert the LC2 to 7 segment display of the 7950. I hope they will give, I hope they will give the secret of conversion. But for me, this is my very own research and development so that uh, I can convert the LCT into an LED display. And now, so I hope uh, everybody will get happy about this uh, good news. Okay, so this is 4F1 KGA 73 signing off. Bye bye.